Hi guys, welcome to Empower In. My name is Caroline Porter Thomas. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel. So in this video, we're going to go over a major drug class, which is known as ACE inhibitors. This is a medication class that has been requested quite a bit, so I really hope that we were able to explain everything in a really simple and easy way. Remember to post a video request whenever one comes to your mind because we get all of our video ideas from you and we try to create videos for you as much as we can. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also check back because after this video, we're going to go over nursing exam or NCLEX style questions related to this medication. So without any further ado, let's get started. ACE inhibitors. Angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors or commonly known as ACE inhibitors, this pharmaceutical drug is used to treat congestive heart failure, high blood pressure, and many other medical conditions. Research and clinical studies prove it to be a very effective drug, as it works by causing the blood vessels to become enlarged or dilate, and thus causing a reduction in the blood pressure. This lowering of the blood pressure makes it easier for the heart to pump blood and it can improve the function of a failing heart. In the United States, 10 ACE inhibitors in use are Ramipril, Enalapril, Quinipril, Captopril, Benazapril, Lysinopril, Bosinopril, Molexapril, Trandolapril, and Peridonopril. Note that all of the brand names of these medications above end with the suffix pril. Now let's take a closer look at the drug class angiotensin converting enzyme or ACE inhibitors. These drugs are helpful in treating heart, blood vessel, and kidney problems. Mechanism of action. The human body is an amazing organ. In order to regulate water and blood pressure, our body follows special mechanisms. For example, when the blood pressure drops too low, the kidneys release renin into the bloodstream. Renin then reacts with a protein called angiotensin that is produced by the liver. As a result, they form angiotensin 1. Then another reaction converts angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 with the help of angiotensin converting enzyme found in the respiratory system. This whole mechanism is known as renin angiotensin system, which is also abbreviated as RAS. Angiotensin II is a powerful substance. It circulates around the body and the bloodstream and introduces several changes in the cardiovascular system, such as stimulating adrenal cortex to release aldosterone and constricting the blood vessels around the body. Aldosterone increases the reabsorption of water and sodium into the tubules of the kidneys. As a result, the volume of blood and the concentration of salt in the blood increases, leading to high blood pressure. The constriction of blood vessels and high pressure inside the vessels, which also means an increase in blood pressure, both of these events cause the heart to exert more pressure while pumping blood into the main arteries. Hence, it reverses the low blood pressure, but it can also lead to other cardiovascular disorders if it persists for a long time. ACE inhibitors reduces the impact of the renin angiotensin aldosterone system, or RAAS, on the blood pressure by inhibiting the angiotensin converting enzyme. As a result, the conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2 is slowed down, which brings about several changes in the cardiovascular system. The rate of water reabsorbs and the kidney drops and so blood volume decreases and the blood vessels relax and become dilated. Both of these factors reduce the workload on the heart. It thus reduces the blood pressure and enhances the capacity of the heart. Other uses. Initially, ACE inhibitors were approved for the management of hypertension, which could be given to patients alone or together with other antihypertensive drugs, like a calcium channel blocker and beta blocker, for example. Later, ACE inhibitors were also found effective in the treatment for other cardiovascular and kidney problems, such as heart failure. In heart failure, the drug reduces the force required by the heart to pump the blood. It is also helpful in chronic kidney disease. The drug slows down the development of the renal disease. It is also helpful in diabetic nephropathy 
or diabetic kidney disease. It helps maintain good renal function. Heart problem prevention. For the treatment of heart disease, certain other drugs are given together with ACE inhibitors. The treatment plan is usually based on an ACE inhibitor, a calcium channel blocker, a beta blocker, and a long-acting nitrate, with different combinations depending on each patient's requirement. Side effects. Side effects of ACE inhibitors rarely show any side effects, but if they do, they can include nausea, drowsiness, high levels of blood potassium, low blood pressure, dizziness, headache, weakness, altered taste sensation, rash, a cough that is very common and some patients find it very annoying. So in this case, the provider usually changes the prescription. Other patients may continue it if they are less bothered or the reaction decreases over time. ACE inhibitors may also cause an allergic swelling of the face or mouth, but it does not occur very often. If the allergic reaction occurs in the throat, it can create difficulty swallowing and breathing. This condition is very serious and is known as angioedema. Nurses be sure to alert your patient about this side effect and instruct them to seek medical attention or call 911 ASAP. Contraindications and precautions. ACE inhibitors are contraindicated in the below instances. Patients that have a history of hypersensitivity to ACE inhibitors before with adverse reactions, pregnant and breastfeeding women should not receive them, patients that have very low blood pressure, causing weakness and dizziness when standing, nurses, you may see an order for orthostatic vital signs. For this procedure, you will usually check the patient's blood pressure and heart rate lying, sitting, and then standing. Then document and report any changes and notify the provider if there is a serious drop in the blood pressure or if the patient becomes symptomatic with the changes in position. You may have to hold a drug for blood pressure drops below 100 systolic. Be sure to check if there are any ordered parameters as well. For patients with high potassium level, because ACE inhibitors can lead to higher blood potassium levels, you may need to hold the medication for them too. Also, patients with renal disease like renal artery stenosis should not take the medication too because ACE inhibitors worsen renal function in patients with renal vascular disease, which is a renal disease that is caused by narrowed blood vessels. ACE inhibitors must be given cautiously to persons using potassium supplements or other medications that can elevate blood potassium levels. Tecturna, if taken together with an ACE inhibitor, can cause hyperkalemia. Renal failure and extreme low blood pressure needs to be avoided as well. Use caution with the first dose of diuretics, as the first dose of ACE inhibitors can sometimes reduce the blood pressure unexpectedly. And nurses, of course, be sure to alert your patient on how to get up slowly in this scenario by sitting on the edge of the bed for a little while and then standing up slowly. Be alert also to the possibility of a reduced effect of ACE inhibitors if the patient is taking non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications. Other considerations. When using ACE inhibitors, avoid using salt substitutes as it contains potassium, and ACE inhibitors can cause the body to retain potassium. For managing blood pressure, ACE inhibitors are meant for long-term use, even if the blood pressure is under control. Stopping the medication can be a health risk. Blood tests should be used to monitor renal function before using ACE inhibitors, and it also should be monitored one to two weeks after the first use. ACE inhibitors usually show quick results in hypertensive patients. However, for the treatment of heart failure, it can take weeks to months to see any improvement. In summary, not only are ACE inhibitors being used widely for the treatment of high blood pressure, but they are being prescribed for many other conditions. Researchers have been surprised by ACE inhibitors' ability to do more than merely lower the blood pressure. Nurses will see ACE inhibitors prescribed for their patients not only for hypertension and congestive heart failure, but even for your patient to prevent a heart attack. Also, for your post-MI patients, because ACE inhibitors have been proven to hinder inflammation and encourage growth of new blood vessels. All right guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that video and I hope that you learned a lot. Like I mentioned before, make sure you come back and check the channel because we're going to be uploading videos containing nursing exam or NCLEX style questions. 
and we will fully go over the rationale. Also, if you look below in the description section, you will find a link to my website where you can review questions exactly on this medication as well. So I cannot wait to see you in the next video. I'll see you soon. Love you. Bye.